Hello, everyone. Uh, this week, we have been looking at column subtraction with exchanging. Uh, so I'm going to go through a few questions that we've been looking at and some strategies about how you can solve column subtraction when you have to exchange. So my first sum here is 44 minus 26. So as always, we're going to start with our column method. I'm going to put my T and O for tens and units because I know I've got two digit numbers. So I only need my tens and units for this sum. I'm going to put my 44 in and my 26 in. And then I'm going to add my operation, which is subtraction. And I'm going to add my answer box underneath. So to start with, we are going to start, as always, with the smallest place value column, the ones. And our first sum is four take away six. However, we can't do this, so we need to exchange. Now, if we were to use physical resources, this is what that would look like. I've got my 44. I've got four tens. And I've got four ones. And I want to take away uh, six ones from my number. However, I can't do that because I only have four. So what I can do is I can exchange one of my 10 sticks for 10 more ones. And then I'll have loads of ones so I can take away six. So I'm going to take away one 10 stick and I'm going to exchange it for 10 more ones. So now what I've done is I've changed my sum ever so slightly. Um, instead of having four tens, I've taken one 10 away. So I only have three left. And now instead of having four ones, I have lots more. So let's have a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And I'm sure many of you knew it was going to be fourteen because you knew that we had four and then we'd added ten more. So to show that I've now got fourteen ones, I'm going to add a little number one here. And now my sum is fourteen take away six. So I've got my fourteen ones. I'm going to take away six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to count what I've got left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know 14 take away six is eight. Let's do fancy green for the answer, shall we? There we go. Now, finally, in my sum, I have three tens. And I know I've got three tens left because I just exchanged one of them. And I'm taking two tens away. So obviously, to do that, I'm just going to remove two of my tens. And I can see now that I only have one ten left. So my answer is 18, 110 and eight ones. Now, that method works perfectly well, and we have used lots of physical resources in our school to help us do our maths. But what happens if you want to do these and you don't have physical resources to use at home? Well, here's another strategy that I've been using with my class uh, in order to help. So our second question is 225. I take away 53. So again, I'm going to draw my column method. This time, I've got a three-digit number minus a two-digit number. So I'm going to need my hundreds column, my tens column, and my ones column. And when I put my numbers in, I need to be extra careful to make sure they're lined up correctly. So my 225, I've got two hundreds, two tens, and five ones. And then for my 53, I know that this five is worth five tens because this is the ones column and this is the tens column. I don't have any hundreds in this number. So I need to be extra careful to put my five into my tens column and my three into my ones column. Now, if you want to, you can now add a placeholding zero into the hundreds column in order to remind yourself that you don't have any hundreds in the second number. It's optional, but it might help. Then I'm gonna add my operation, which is subtraction and my answer box. And now we're ready to start solving the sum. So to start with, not too difficult because I've got five take away three and I'm pretty sure I can do that. But then when I get to my next column, I've got two take away five and that's going to involve exchanging. Now, I don't have physical resources to hand now, but what I can do is actually draw my resources. So I know in my number, my first number, I have two hundreds. So I'm going to do two squares to represent a hundred. 
I also know that I've got two tens, so I'm going to do two ten sticks to represent the two tens. And I know I've got five ones, so I'm going to do five little one spots to represent my five ones. Now, as I start my sum, I've got five ones, take away three ones. Not too difficult for me to do. I've got my five ones, and if I take away three of them, I've got two ones left, so I can put two in my answer box. Now, the tricky bit comes when I have two tens, but I need to take away five tens, which I can't do. So again, I'm going to exchange, but this time I'm going to draw my exchange rather than uh, using my physical resources. So I'm going to cross out one of my hundred squares, and I'm going to exchange that for 10 lots of 10, because I know 10 tens are equal to 100. So I'm going to add in 10 more 10 sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They just about fit. And now I have lots of tens in order to be able to take away five. Um, I'm sure you can work out now that we have 12 tens altogether because I had two tens and I've just added 10 more tens because I took away 100. So now I've got 12 tens and I'm going to take away five of them. So again, just going to cross out five tens. One two, three, four, and five. And I'm going to count the number of tens I've got left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my answer here would be seven. Again, you can represent this in the sum. We exchanged one of our hundreds. So we didn't have two hundreds anymore. We had 100. And we gained 10 more tens, which meant we didn't have two tens anymore. We had 12. So 12 take away 5 gave me 7. Finally, all I need to do is do 100 take away 0 hundreds. If I leave my 100 as it is, I still have 100, which means my answer is 172. I forgot to do the fancy green in the column method. It is optional. If you're feeling artistic, the important thing is we get the maths correct. So... That is the way that we can use our exchanging subtraction if we didn't have physical resources, but we wanted to draw it out. But what if we just wanted to use our column method in the abstract without using any uh, physical resources and without using any drawing? Well, we can do that as well. So my final sum here is 424 take away 157. Again, I've got a three-digit number and a three-digit number. So I'm going to need my hundreds tens and ones column again i'm going to put 424 at the top 157 underneath i'm going to add my operation which is subtraction and i'm going to add my answer box underneath now my first Part of this sum is four ones take away seven ones, which I can't do. Now, if I had my physical resources or I was drawing, then I could exchange one of my tens for 10 more ones. So what I'm going to do is just do this using my column method. I'm going to take away one of my tens. And I had two tens to start with. I'm only leaving myself one. And what I'm going to now do is add 10 ones to my ones column because I know the one ten I've taken away is equal to 10 ones. If I had four ones and I add another 10, I know that 10 plus four is 14. So I can just do a little number one there to demonstrate I've now got 14 ones. Now I can do my subtraction. 14, take away 7. Now, one method that my class uh, used this week, which is quite nice for those of you who might find counting backwards a little bit tricky, is to actually get a ruler out. And if I look at my ruler here, I know the light's making it a little bit difficult to see, but I'm sure you'll get the idea. If I start on 14 and I count back 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I end up on the number 7. And that tells me that 14 take away 7 equals 7. So things like rulers and number lines can also help if you're trying to count back, but you aren't too confident with doing it mentally. Just going to zoom out ever so slightly so you can see the bottom of the sum. Uh, again, I've forgotten to do my fancy green. Apologies. Um, finally, or well, not quite finally, but next I'm into my tens column. Now I've got my one ten left and I need to take away five tens, but I can't do that because I've only got one ten. So I'm going to exchange again. This time I'm going to exchange one of my hundreds for 10 more tens. 
So I'm going to cross out my 400s. I'm taking one away and leaving 300s. And then I'm going to bring that 100 into my tens column. And I know that 10 tens are equivalent to 100. So I'm adding 10 more tens. I had one 10 here. I've added 10 more. 10 plus 1 is 11. So I'm going to draw another little number 1 next to it to show that I've now got 11 tens. I'm going to do 11 tens, take away 5 tens, and that gives me 6 tens. And our final step then is our 300 take away 100. I know 300 take away 1 is 2. And that gives me the answer 267. So, three strategies, very, very similar, just different ways of showing the same uh, approach. Column subtraction with exchanging. Every single one of these works perfectly well. The Physical resources are great. The concrete method is excellent. The pictorial method of drawing and then removing is also excellent. And the abstract method of just doing it more mentally is also correct. All of these methods work. It's up to you which one works best for you. Have a great weekend, everyone, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.